Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here, working on a new project. Got the whole family involved and very happy with that because uh, having family help out is a great thing and it teaches kids how to work. My wife is helping out too. She's doing some trim work here. So we're fixing up the basement, we're painting everything, we're putting a new wood floor in and uh, love working with my family and I think it's a great thing to do with work on these projects together. So here we go, we got some new paint. This is a creamy color, it's uh, off-white. And then a trim work is going to be a semi-gloss uh, white once we get done. The last thing we do, put the semi-gloss down. And I've gone ahead and painted all the ceilings as well. So we're using Duration Sherwin-Williams paint here. I think this is some of the best paint around. Love it. Spreads really thick. It's a uh, lifetime warranty paint, so very happy with this selection. So there's the uh, final product here. This is after two coats. We put down all the walls. This is half of the basement right here. Still have to do the trim work, but that will be last. So one of the next projects I'm working on, on this uh, build out right here, this is where our water pipes are. We're gonna put these recessed lights in, check this out. So we have some low profile recessed lights right here. Really cool, these are 24 volt low voltage lights, LED, and they come with a transformer. You can wear them up to 120 volt. I did go ahead and rough in the lights here. I went ahead and snapped a chalk line and the four lights are going to be drilled in. There was some work involved in this because uh, I had to uh, drill out some of the uh, 2x4 that was up there and work around that. Alright, so I got all four lights in here. There actually was quite a bit of work because of the uh, drilling and so forth. But as I said before, we'll get these wired up at a later date. Alright guys, you can see from this picture here, I've been working on this drywall and fixing little marks and uh, taking some of the drywall screws out and re-screwing them in. They sort of backed their way out and made some uh, marks and I've gone ahead and patched over those. I also put a little piece of blue tape on where I've done a mark because as I uh, sand it down and I leave the tape up and then when I paint I know where to paint and to uh, prime and patch over things. So here are some final shots of the basement. This is the other side of the room. Together both rooms are about 650 square feet. They're just sort of divided by LVL, which splits the room in half. So very happy that the walls are done. I'm going to focus on the floor now, putting down an underlayment. That'll be another video. I'm using a DMX one step. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a maple laminate floor down over that. All I have to do is some trim work and then work on the staircase. Probably going to put carpet down for that. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. Catch you later.